All right, guys, we're going to calculate some areas of polygons and composite figures. Um, calculator will be very helpful in this lesson. So I have that with you on your side. We're going to find areas of rhombuses and kites, and we're going to use uh, find angle measures and areas of regular polygons. We are not going to do that. We're just going to do the rhombuses and kites, and we're going to find areas of composite figures. A yeah, composite figure just means that it has two or more shapes. So in our last lesson, we saw some composite figures where we had a semicircle and a triangle put together. Um, our archway in our last section, we had a, a square and a semicircle. So a composite figure is just more than one shape put together. Okay, and then our previous vocabulary, we talked about rhombuses a while back. Remember, a rhombus has four equal sides. And a kite has two consecutive congruent sides. All right, so we can, um, in our rhombus, this is a rhombus, it has four congruent sides. And if we connect our opposite angles, that is called a diagonal. Opposite angles connected make a diagonal. So we have a one diagonal, two diagonals in both a rhombus, and here's a kite. We have a pair of congruent sides, consecutive congruent sides, and another pair of congruent set consecutive sides. We draw a line uh, connecting opposite vertices, then we have a diagonal, and we have two diagonals in both a rhombus and a kite. And if we draw a diagonal, then it can uh, split that shape into two congruent sides also. All right, so to find the areas of a rhombus and a kite, our formula is one-half diagonal one times diagonal two. So here we have a rhombus. We want to find the area, so it's going to be one-half times eight is one diagonal, and six is our other diagonal. So one-half eight times six. Now, you can do a lot of quick mental math with these, or you can type them in your calculator. Half of eight is four, four times six is 24. All right, the area of our kite, we're gonna do one half. Our diagonal is seven here, and the other diagonal is 10. So one half seven times 10. Um, quick mental math, that's gonna give us a decimal. So if we do half of 10, we do five times seven gives us 35. Or you can type that in your calculator and you get 35 centimeters squared. Now we are talking area again, so make sure all of your units are squared. All right, we're gonna find the area of a rhombus with a diagonal of four feet and another diagonal of five feet. So we don't have a picture that is telling us what it is. So we're using our formula, one half diagonal one times diagonal two. In other words, we're doing one half times four times five. Half of four is two, two times five is 10. Or plug that into your calculator, you will get 10. Now we're gonna find the area of a kite with diagonals 12 and diagonals nine. I bet you already know this. You can pause it real quick and check in the video. One half diagonal one times diagonal two. We're plugging in the 12 and the nine. Half of 12 is six. Six times nine is 70 or 54, sorry. All right, a composite figure is, it just has more than one shape put together. So it's not a regular shape. In order to solve composites, you must know the area um, or perimeter formulas for other simple shapes. Um, if you are unsure or uneducated, formulas are listed in the textbook on page 109. Um, I'm also giving you a document attached to this with your um, all your area formulas also. All right, so here is an example of a composite figure. 
here we have it cut off, and this is a curved edge. So this is a sector, and here we have a triangle. So we're going to have to find the area of a sector and the area of the triangle. Um, remember the area of our sector is the measure, the arc measure divided by 360 times the area of a circle. The area of a triangle is one half times the base times height. So to find the area of the composite figure, we are adding those two areas together. All right, so let's start with the area of our sector. Here's our formula. Our arc measure, this is our central angle, so our arc measure is going to be the same, 60. And then the radius is given to us at 7 centimeters. So reduce our fraction. We get 1 sixth. 7 squared is 49. We can multiply 1 sixth and 49 to get 49 sixths pi. And then we're going to find the area of our triangle. We're going to leave this in terms of pi until we get our final answer. Okay. Um, then we're going to go to our triangle, one half base times height. So our base is the radius of the circle or the sector. It's the same seven as it is our radius. So a seven is our base of the triangle, and the height is given to us as four. So one half times seven times four. Quick mental math. Seven's odd, but four is even. So we can do half of four is two times seven is 14. Now to find the area of the composite, we're going to add them together. So now you can put all of this in your calculator. Four ninths divided by six times pi or 3.14 plus 14. And we get approximately 39.66 centimeters squared. Right here is another composite figure. It's got lots of shapes in it. It could have lots of shapes in it. Okay, so you see a lot of triangles in here. You could do a lot of these triangles or these triangles here form a kite. So we have a kite and then we have this other shape here. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite sides are congruent. So that's a parallelogram. So we have a kite and a parallelogram. We need to find the areas and add them together. So the area of our kite is one half diagonal times diagonal. The area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Now remember the height on a parallelogram is where it is perpendicular to the base. Okay, so this is our height because it shows from top to bottom is the height. Now, if it was just on the side here, just that side was three, it is not your height. So be careful and watch for those um, notations on your pictures. Make sure the height is perpendicular. All right, so let's find the area of our kite. For our diagonals are seven, and this is six. So one half six times seven, Half of six is three times seven is 21. Now for the area of our parallelogram. The base of our parallelogram is four and the height is three. So four times three gives us an area of 12. Now to find the composite figure, we're gonna add those areas together. 21 plus 12 gives us 33 feet squared. All right, guys, um, remember to look for that attachment with the formulas for your areas. Uh, feel free to look anything up also and or ask questions. Have a good week, guys. Miss you.